The harp can produce over 40 sound effects or extended techniques, if you will. One of them is harmonics. And you hear that quite often in orchestra music. Um, I think the composer usually uh, orchestrates it for when it's on its own or maybe has very little behind it with other, uh, the other instruments. We do have a um, way of playing the strings to make them sound a little bit tighter. The middle of the harp or the middle of the strings is the sweetest sound that you can make. But as you get lower, closer to the soundboard, it gets a little tighter. And so we do play quite a bit down at the soundboard. to give a little bit more of a tighter guitar sound. Oh, this one is fun. If you want to get some aggression out, play the gong effect. And that rings quite a while. While we're down here, the bass, let's uh, talk about the whistle sound. And the sound that you can make by tapping or flicking the string with the finger. also have what we call pitch bends, and that is just pushing it on a string right below the tuning peg. It gives it the bends the pitch. Then we also have the glissandi. Let's not forget about those. That's what everybody knows on the harp, and that's what they hear. <laughs> two kinds of glissandi. We have the scale glissandi, glissando, which has its place many times. It leads us from one, uh, one part of the uh, music into another. Then we have the enharmonic glissando, which is when you set the pedals to make the glissando sound like a chord. most popular one. Um, we also have the cricket glissando, I would not want to hear that in my house because I crickets just kind of freak me out. Okay we have those and we have pedal slides look ma no hands we have a mid pedal sound where you take the pedal and you put it in between two notches and it gets a really kind of a great sound. That's a sound as a harpist you don't ever want to hear because that means that you didn't get your pedal set quite right when you're transitioning um, from a flat, sharp, or natural. And then we have, we're talking about a little different glisses and that is when you can just brush the strings with the back of your nails. <laughs> you can just use your fingertips. Thumbs. So we talked a little bit about enharmonics, but let's talk about what they are and how they are made. So an enharmonic on the harp is when you take two strings next to each other and you set the pedals so that they sound the same. Right now I've got a B and a, uh, I can't do that, a C. I'll have a C sharp and a D flat. playing two strings. The only instrument that can do this. The guitar can do it if they retune, but we don't have to retune, we just set our pedals. Makes an impressive trill. <laughs> 